Hello and welcome back to an Anchor Up Dev Vlog. Today in this video I'm going to be discussing releasing the game on Steam after I've been working on it on my own for 15 months. Anchor Up is a calming strategy puzzle game that revolves around trying to find the correct placement of weapons on your ship and careful manoeuvring of your boat to not get sunk or boarded by enemies. After finishing the last dev vlog, I completed the snowy area and added in a yeti boss battle at the end of it. I also created a whole new jungle stage where there are breakable trees that can fall and crush enemy ships and then after that added in the final boss battle stage too. I also thought it would be good to take a look back at what the game looked like in its very early stages of development in June last year where the game was like almost 2D, it was all unlit which is of course extremely different to how it is now. I even remember sending these two video clips off to some trusted game developers on Discord for their opinion on which one looked better, and of course the one that actually used real light one, uh, and that's been stuck with ever since. The reason I'm speaking about that feedback now is because I was actually lucky enough to get included in the Jonas Plays Your Games video, where he gave some very valuable feedback, especially in regards to the movement system which before you had to press shift every time you wanted to move, whereas now it's just always visible whenever it's the player's turn, and you can either click on the tile to move or just click on a weapon to shoot. Also, after watching Jonas play the game, I realised that it really needed some kind of interactive tutorial rather than just a guide, uh, because having a way that the player can kind of interact and be taught the game at the same time as playing it is so much better than just reading a wall of text and then launching them into it. So that's another thing that I got to work on and added in for the final game. I also made a way for the player to be able to access the after report screen from within a level, making it easier to customise your ship after seeing a level for the first time. On the days leading up to the launch of the game, I started to create some kind of little advertisement pictures for Instagram on the Orange Flag Studio account, which were counting down to the launch of the game each time with a different image, and finally with an out now post. I also updated the Steam page to include more recent screenshots, and of course the most recent trailer. I also added in Steam specific features into the game itself, like Steam Cloud and Steam Achievements. Steam Cloud meant that I kind of had to change how the directories worked in terms of the save systems, but that's about it. I thought it would be fun to do a bit about stats about the game as well, just discuss them a bit. So for example, the hours spe I spent testing the game, the final two weeks, were over 60 hours in the game. Uh, and that doesn't even include time programming in the editor, this is actually just playing the game. I think overall I did about three playthroughs, each time just fixing anything that really came up. So that was kind of a really um, strenuous process to get the game to a state where I was happy and said I'm not going to do another playthrough. Another one is actually it took me 16 months to get to the point where I thought that I could start working on a commercial game. So I think I took part in about 10 game jams, maybe a bit more than that before I said to myself that actually I think now I probably can start a commercial game and take that seriously. So one thing that I'd always recommend if you're a new developer is probably don't jump into your first commercial game straight away. I would program 10, 20, because the amount of small projects that I've got built up on my hard drive is so many. Just, do, just pick a feature from a game, try and make it move on. And once you like feel comfortable that you can make most features that you are thinking of, then start working on your actual first game and believe me it will it'll pay off you will be making the game and you'll, uh, you'll you can tell the difference that it'll have made and another one is i created 80 plus blender files i think it's like 83 84 something like that uh so i think there was a lot of 3d modeling that went on i think I, especially when i said to myself there's got to be something animated in every single level and that's probably when the blender files started to kind of creep up a bit and finally there are 14 music tracks in total, one for every boss battle and about two for every area I think, uh, so that's where that number comes from. And if you're interested in getting the soundtrack for the game, all music by Jeff Fox, uh, I'm very thankful for doing the music for this, then you can buy it from Bandcamp using the link in the description. Thank you for watching this devlog and thank you for watching uh, all the devlogs since the first one back in June last year. It's great to have this finally released and it's good to have this kind of collection of devlogs as well. Uh, kind of documenting its development uh, and again if you are interested in getting this game it is released on Steam uh, and there is a link in the description if you are interested in getting it. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.